Ladies and gentlemen, as your commencement program indicates, we have reached a most welcome opportunity to honor three very special people. The degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Aonoris Causa, has been used by colleges and universities for centuries to honor members of their extended communities and to bring notable and accomplished individuals into increased contact with their campuses. The tradition of the honorary degree is almost as old as academia itself, dating back to the Middle Ages when Oxford University awarded degrees for conspicuous service to the church. Newman University has been authorized by our Board of Trustees to bestow this, to bestow this honor upon a very select few individuals whose life and work reflect the core values of our institution. Catholic identity, academic excellence, a culture of service, and a global perspective. I am delighted to welcome Ms. Claire Vanderpool, Danny Brott, ASC, and Chris Schrader, ASC, to our fall 2011 commencement to receive the Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. To read the citation for Claire Vanderpool, I would invite up to the podium the Most Reverend uh, Paul Coakley, Archbishop of Oklahoma City. Claire, we proudly honor you today for your work guiding and educating young people and for your achievement as an author. Through your actions, you stand as a model to young people of the power of the written word and the value of education, thus exemplifying the Newman University core value of academic excellence. Claire, you grew up in Wichita, not far from your current home in College Hill and attended Blessed Sacrament Catholic School and Wichita Collegiate School, where you developed a strong love for storytelling and writing. Following your graduation in 1987 from Kansas Newman College, now Newman University, with majors in English and elementary education, you served as Director of Youth and Young Adult Ministry for the Diocese of Wichita, where you planned and conducted retreats, leadership training, and other projects and programs for high school youth and young adults. When your first child was born, you left that position to care for your children and to pursue your love of storytelling. You published your first novel, Moon Over Manifest, in 2010. The book tells the powerful story of the only daughter of a drifter searching for her personal meaning of home and family during the Great Depression. To write the book, you relied on your creative powers, but you also did extensive research on the era and drew from the experiences and history of your maternal grandparents' family. In January 2011, you were named the winner of the prestigious Newbery Medal, which is bestowed annually by the American Library Association to recognize the best contribution to American children's literature. You are the first Kansas author to receive this honor. You received the Newbery Medal in June 2011 at the annual meeting of the American Library Association in New Orleans, Louisiana, where thousands were in attendance. By then, Moon Over Manifest had become a bestseller. Today, when not working on a new book, or spending time with your husband, Mark, and your children, Luke, Paul, Grace, and Lucy. You are a sought-after speaker at schools, libraries, and conferences around the country. In spring 2012, the Newman University Alumni Association 
will recognize your achievement as a children's author by awarding you the Leon A. McNeil Distinguished Alumni Award in Arts and Humanities. Claire Vanderpool, for the significant contribution you have made to literature and the inspiration you provide to young people on the value of education, we hereby confer upon you the degree Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Thank you. I am honored, humbled, and so grateful to receive this honorary degree. But I have to admit there's an element uh, particularly gratifying for me today. I have an older brother who, uh, when we were both in college, he took classes like organic chemistry, and uh, I was in elementary ed, and he used to somewhat make fun of my uh, class requirements and he would say you know let's see what do I need for this semester my organic chemistry book you know whatever physics everything like that let's see what Claire needs chalk crayons <laughs> well that same older brother has been working on a couple of doctoral degrees for years <laughs> many many years <laughs> and upon the announcement of this honorary degree for me my older brother David the one not working on the degree, said, hey, that's funny, you'll be getting a doctorate before Paul. <laughs> Paul will be coming home for Christmas next week, and I'm sure I will get lots of mileage out of my new doctoral status. So <laughs> I thank you for that. It, it seems appropriate that this celebration is taking place during Advent, this time of waiting, anticipating, hoping, waiting for the Word made flesh. I started writing when my first child was born, and for many years before my book was published, I did just that. Wait, anticipate, hope. In October of 2010, when my oldest child was 16, Moon Over Manifest was published, and it was the realization of a lifelong dream. But then last January rolled around, and something happened that I had not hoped for, not anticipated, not even dreamed of. It won the Newbery Award. In my life experience, that seems to be the way God works. He sees what we have in mind and then often says, I have another idea. You really don't have to look too much farther than two people on this very stage, Archbishop Coakley and myself, who uh, both worked in the youth office for the Catholic Diocese for many years, doing all of the uh, crazy antics and icebreakers that are a staple of youth ministry. And here we are today in our... <laughs> New titles, new regalia. Who would have thought? <laughs> this past year, following the announcement of the Newberry, has been filled with many wonderful opportunities. I'm not talking about opportunities of fame or fortune, but rather opportunities for great gratitude, humility, and insight. Gratitude for the way so many people here at Newman and in the larger community have expressed such genuine sentiments of congratulations and have embraced this experience with me. I've said it's like there's this big Newberry train and everyone feels free to jump on board. And I love that. Humility. When a little fourth grade friend of mine asked me if I would sign a book for him, I was thrilled. It was the first time I had been asked. Yes, I replied, I'll be happy to sign a book for you. To which he said, great, can you make it the fourth Lemony Snicket? Which if you're not familiar with Lemony Snicket, it's somebody else's book. <laughs> So as I say, great opportunities for humility and insight into the way grace works in our lives, gradually, mysteriously, unexpectedly, lovingly. I'm always amazed at God's humor, his creativity, his element of surprise. Again, we don't have to look farther than the word made flesh but I'm never surprised at his goodness. I think that's what resonates in my story, Moon Over Manifest. It has elements of humor, creativity, surprise, but I think what is recognized most is the underlying goodness of the people in the story and the place in which those people have their roots. 
Those two things, place and people of great goodness, were very much a part of my years at Newman. So again, I am grateful for this honor that you're giving me today, but I'm even more grateful to count myself part of the Newman community. Thank you.